Okay, for level 5.4, we have a new front-end preset command. Let's see what it will do and how we can do that. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so go back here and we have this terminal. Let's run this terminal. So I will just make it big. Okay, now php artisan list and at the top you will see this command which says preset preset what preset will do swap the front end scaffolding for the application so let's see what it will do so i will say preset firstly say help then preset and this says a couple of things the preset type is none bootstrap view and react if you are working with laravel then you must know that laravel shipped with a built-in view and bootstrap things so you can see it has view it has bootstrap so you don't have to do anything with this okay and but sometimes what happen if you don't want to use view then what yeah we can use other things but view still stay here how will you remove this if you don't want to get view and if you even don't want the bootstrap how will be that because any framework is good or bad is decided by its flexibility so laravel is now becoming more flexible for your choice so let's see how we can remove these things so you can see we have this none so if i say php artisan preset none and hit enter and you can see at the bottom it says front end scaffolding for removed successfully this means and yes you saw that everything gone just bootstrap is here and even if you don't want you can delete this file also there is no component folder here but when i say here php artisan view and hit enter and yeah you can see now everything is come back and this component folder also for the view so let's search for a thing so i will say control p and i will say preset slash none so this is the file where this command go so whenever we say php addison none it will go here and it will install these things but before installing it will update these things so you can see for the none update package array will unset that means it will remove everything from your project okay and then rerun this to have the minimal things you want okay so similarly if we search for preset slash view and here it is so what it will do it will return view and the latest one 2.1.0 so whenever you want to change your view version just come here and change it and whoops everything is good okay and similarly let's try this you can see we have view here and this view part is here and when i go here i will say react because react is becoming popular day by day so that's why laravel is now have option to work with react also okay so when i hit enter go back and yep you will see again the changes are here this means now we have this require component for the react and this is the thing you want to have along with these things if you go to package.json file you can see it's now says react but if i say view and yep you can see it's changed to view 
if I say none and whoop, <laughs> view also gone. So in this way, you can play with these things and whatever you want, just choose and create something awesome. If we will meet in the next episode with some new cool feature of Laravel 5.5. Till then, if you have any doubt, please feel free to comment me. Message me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe and we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.